great. Coach Spencer is uh, doing a great job of, you know, trusting me and my ability. And he must look good, a guy like Magruder in the box. You know, he looked real good down there. A lot of guys look good in new positions. When did you start to realize that this was going to be such a good fit for you? You know, my freshman year, I got some looks at, you know, the nickel, you know, some some looks at safety. And I just I just enjoy playing football. I don't really care where I'm at. They don't they they understand that. They understand that I don't mind playing any position on the field. So I knew that whatever position they put me in, I was gonna go out there and have fun and make plays. What um, where what areas are you still trying to work on right now to uh, to to get yourself? more prepared to handle this position? Uh, uh, just certain angles as far as tackling goes. That's totally different from being a corner. Um, working with leverage, you know, obviously understanding leverage is a big thing, playing safety. And then just flying to the ball. You know, that's nothing new, but I want to continue to do that. I want to step that up to another level, just continue to fly to the ball. I know you had a couple of tackles early. Did that kind of help you uh, settle in there? I was already settled in from the <laughs> jump. I, that's why I made the tackles. I was settled in from the jump. Obviously, I want to get my hands on a couple of balls. So I'm going to try to find ways every week to get my hands and get close to the ball. But other than that, I, I've been settled in. I'm, I'm ready. I was talking to Coach Spencer about team speed. and he's, He doesn't buy into team speed. He talks about things like angles and pursuit angles, things like mm -hmm. that that you were talking about. But do you can you tell that the guys around you seem faster or at least pursuing quicker this year than maybe a year ago? I think uh, the, the difference between this year and last year is just uh, – guys in different positions, you know, uh, just learning how to utilize our ability to his standards and uh, beyond his standards, obviously, because we want to we be great for ourselves, obviously. But, uh, you know, as far as speed goes, they, they practice, we practice with speed every day. So that kind of became the culture. So we don't, they obviously emphasize that, but that's not uh, something that he stresses because that's, if you can't play here if you can't play with speed. So that's something that's uh, already built into the culture of Oklahoma State football. Yes, sir. Thank you. Is that a is that four two wrinkle? Is that new? I think I saw that right. Like four, two, where where uh where Magruder's back at safety, and it's, <laughs> it's just like the four four are on the line, right? You got two backers, and Magruder is like it's almost like a pyramid. Yes, sir. Like is that is that a new thing? Cause I, I don't think I've seen that. Ah, uh, I honestly don't even know. It's just <laughs> Coach Spencer does a lot. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He's done this for plenty of years, X amount of years more longer than I've been alive. So he knows what he's doing. Um, I just buy into the defense, whether it's a 4-2, a 3-3, a or a 5-6. I really don't care what it is. I'm going to buy into the defense. <laughs> hey, um, it seems like you guys are so much farther along chemistry-wise than in years past. You, do you see that, and are you guys kind of reaping the benefits of that at all? Um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of uh, my sophomore year when we had a lot of older guys who played, who've been here for – the three or four years together. So we have guys on the defense such as myself, uh, Trey Flowers. We have guys like Jarrell Owens. All of us have been here. We kind of came in at the same time. So just being around each other for the last couple of years and trusting each other has kind of helped. I saw you guys break on Big 12 Champs. Yes, sir. How, how, how cool is that to know that you guys are, you know, you're far away, but that is like a, that is a goal, you know. Some mm -hmm. programs that's, like Kansas isn't breaking out on Big 12 Champs. You know what I mean? Yeah, So well, I believe everyone in the Big 12 should. You know, uh, I think that's the main goal for everybody. You know, uh, we, we respect all of our opponents, and I feel like us breaking out on that is just setting, just trying to pave a way. You know, uh, we got we to gotta have a goal. We can't just be out here just playing blind football. And, you know, so we're going to break on that. Or we're going to break on many other things, such as, you know, national champs, uh, just anything that sets a, a positive goal in mind. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. It's a different beast, and... To me, it's about third down defense. It's about red zone defense. It's about takeaways. Is that mm -hmm. is that areas you guys focus on and want to be really good at as a unit? Yes, sir. Yeah, we uh, we strive for takeaways. You know, especially as many times the ball is thrown in the Big 12, we strive on takeaways. And then, like you said, third down. That's something that we're looking into right now because obviously last week, you know, uh, third we didn't convert on third down like we should have. But those are the minor corrections that we need to make. And then, like you said, in the red zone, you know. Uh, change of possession, you know, a sudden change of possession. That's something that we pride ourselves on. Takeaways, sudden change of possession, and third down conversions. Getting off the field is what matters most. And I think in the Big 12, the teams who can do that are the most, the most successful teams. Give me one guy, two guys that people don't know about yet that's had a great camp and it's going to really blow up this year. One or two guys. Uh, Malik Kirsch, 